cavalry horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hardy high silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early days of the western United States. His strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, blazed the trail for progress and finally made possible the winning of the West. No greater champion of justice can be found in the pages of history. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for the gold country. There's going to be trouble. Oh, Silver! Away! Young Jerry Lee returned to Virginia City after a six weeks prospecting trip in the hills above the town. His first stop was Sheriff Park's home, and he found the sheriff's daughter, Betty, on the front porch. Jerry! Yes, ma'am. What there is left of me. How much gold did you find? And when are we going to get married? Oh, not so fast. Do you want me to be an old maid? As a kiss, keep <laughs> quiet. Oh, Jerry, didn't you have any luck at all? I had all the luck I thought I would. I found the richest ore in this part of the country up on Lookout Hill, and I staked out my claim. Then you're rich. Far from it, honey. The gold's up there, but there's no way to wash it out. No water at all? Not a drop. Oh, you shouldn't have wasted your time. Why didn't you stay down here around the creeks? Lots of men are washing out $100 and $200 a day. You could pump all the water you needed up to Lookout Hill. How? Well, I'm not saying it wouldn't cost a lot of money. Thousands and thousands, but... Oh, then but... what's the use of talking about it? Nobody believed you when you told them there was more gold up in the hills than around the creeks. Well, and... it's only common sense. Well, they won't believe you now, so you can't expect anybody to lend you money. Well, I won't give up until I've tried. Who are you going to start with? I don't know. I... I thought maybe you might give me some idea. Well, Paul might be able to let you have a little, but... You said thousands. Yep. I need big money or none at all. Well, I don't know either. And to tell the truth, Jerry, I... I wish you'd give up the idea. Can't you understand? I might get a stake from placer mining, but that's all. There won't be any placer mining in another year. That's just plain loco. No, no, it isn't. I'll find somebody who's willing to take a chance. If I have to, I'll go to Frisco or Chicago. I wish you wouldn't. I've got to, honey. You think you're awful smart, don't you? Oh, it's only common sense. Jerry... If somebody who knows a lot more about this country than you do, if that somebody was to tell you that you were wrong, that you couldn't get gold out of the hills without it costing too much, would you give up the idea then? You've got somebody special in mind? Uh-huh. Who? The Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? That's what I said. Well, sure, I'd take his advice, but where is he? I can tell you, Jerry. Yeah? He came here last night to talk with Pa. Must have been two or three o'clock in the morning, and I didn't know anything about it until breakfast. Paul couldn't keep it a secret any longer than that. He didn't tell me what their business was, but he did tell me where the masked man was camped. Where? In the woods beyond Crystal Falls. You can find him there tonight. I will, honey. And you'll take his advice? I'll do whatever he says. I promise. Well, 
that's what I believe, Mask Man. But I promised Betty that if you thought I was wrong, I'd give up the idea. I don't think you're wrong, Jerry. The only reason they're finding gold in the creeks is because it was washed down from the hills. The big strikes are still to be made. That's all I need. That's the way I figure, too. It isn't a job for one man, though. You'll have to have men and machinery. Companies will have to be formed. And I'm going to start the first one. You won't find it easy. The miners haven't realized that... What's the matter? There's someone riding this way. It's all right. I think it's Toto. Hi! Hi, Kimosabe! I saw that paint horse in town tonight. Was he on the stage, Toto? Ah. I wonder if he'll try the same thing again. Me hear him talk. Him open office in town. I think he will, but we can't let him succeed this time. You think him break law? We can't prove he did, but... Say, what's this all about? Jerry, you might be able to help us. Huh? And help yourself at the same time. I know the man who will back you. You do? His name is Carl Miller, and he just arrived in Virginia City tonight. Carl Miller? Wasn't he the president of the Great Western Company? That's the man. But everybody connected with that lost their shirts. Everyone but Miller, Jerry. You go to him and you'll get all the money you need. (laughs) That sounds too good to be true. Go to him the first thing in the morning. Tell him your theory, but don't be too optimistic about it. Well, how can I convince him? Just follow my instructions. Make a point of how much money will have to be spent. Don't say that it's sure to pay out, but ask his advice. Let him make the decision. That doesn't sound like good business to me. It will to Miller. And when it comes to signing a contract, there are only two things to remember. Uh, A contract? You must insist on 50% of the stock. Yeah? And that you have full charge of the mining operations. That's the most important thing of all. Well, sure. I'd want to have full charge. Oh, if this works out the way I think it will. It won't, Jerry. Won't? But you'll get your money and a chance to prove your idea. Besides that, you'll help us put a crook in jail. Thousands and thousands, eh? Are you absolutely sure the ore on Lookout Hill is rich? I'll be honest, sir. I only washed out a little of it. But if you wanted me to, I could go back and no, wash... No, no, that won't be the same. And you want to have complete charge of the mining operations yourself? Yes, sir. I insist on that. Have you had any experience with a job of this sort? No. But then no one has. It's a new idea. Of course. You're a good businessman, Mr. Miller. I'm just putting it up to you. Does the idea sound good enough for you to invest money in it? It does, my boy. It does indeed. This great new country can never be developed unless we take a chance. I believe in progress and the glorious destiny of the West. Uh... You say there'll be no more placer mining in a year? Well, it won't pay after that. Exactly my feeling. Lookout Hill will be the... I don't like that name, Lee. Lookout Hill? That's what it's always been called. We're dealing with the future, not the past. From now on, it's going to be called... uh, Let me see. Uh, Nugget Mountain. That's it. Nugget Mountain, a mountain of gold. It isn't exactly a mountain, sir. You leave the words to me, my boy, and I'll leave the deeds to you. I'll drop a contract right away. You drop a list of the machinery and tools we need. Don't try to be economical, include everything. I may be able to think of a few things myself. Uh, come back here at four o'clock. Four o'clock this afternoon? This afternoon, of course. We can't waste time. I'll take the stage for the east tonight. Within a month, your machinery will start arriving. Within six months... Nugget Martin will be the talk of the West. I'm not so sure. Don't worry, my boy. You do your best and leave the rest to me. It worked, masked man. I still can't believe it. But we've signed a partnership agreement. And Miller's gone east to buy machinery and tools. And and look, he left me a thousand dollars. That's just to hire a few men to get the ground ready. When will he be back? Uh, three months. But the machinery will start arriving before that. And he'll send more money, too. By the time he gets back, we'll be ready to start work. And when I get through, folks won't be laughing at me anymore. Are they doing that now? Yes, yeah, some. They won't even believe that Miller's backing me. You're going to surprise a lot of people, Jerry. Including Miller himself. <laughs> Three months passed. Three months of hard work for Jerry from morning till night. The first machinery and tools were shipped from St. Louis to Fort Benton by steamboat and then by wagon to Virginia City. He was forced to hire more and more men and the laughter of the miners turned to open amazement. At last word was received that Miller was returning from the east and Jerry waited for his stage to arrive with Betty at his side. I don't see why you're so nervous, Jerry. I, I can't help it. After all, it isn't your money that you've been spending. That's all the more reason for me not to make mistakes. I have, Betty. 
I made a lot of them at first. Well, you're not going to make any more. When I show Miller my figures, I... Gosh, I hate to think of it. Here comes the stage. Gather around, boys. The mail's here. Now, there he is, leaning out of the window. Uh, Betty, I want to take him straight to the office and get it over with. Do you mind? No, I'll see you tonight. Oh, there. Oh, oh, there. Oh, there, Bill. Oh, Kitty. Oh, there. Oh, Jim. Now, let me through, boys. Let, let me through. Howdy, Mr. Miller. Hello, Jerry. Hey, what you meet, Al Norton? Oh, howdy. You from the East? I'm not a tenderfoot, Jerry. I should say he isn't. He's going to work for Nugget Mountain. Fine. But you gents must be tired, I know. Maybe you'd like to go straight to the hotel. Only, could you come over to the office first? Anything wrong? Well, not exactly. I'd just like to make my report. We'll be glad to hear it. Come along, Al. <laughs> Here's the figures. From the bills that came with the machinery and the wages I've paid, we've spent 30000 And you haven't washed out an ounce of dust yet. Well, not yet. We haven't even crushed any quartz. The mill runs by water power, you know, and... Well, I've, I've done my best, but there it is. I didn't expect you to be any further ahead in this year. You didn't? Of course not. It's a tremendous undertaking. Well, I picked the wrong spot to build the dam at first. We had to start all over again. Yeah, I'm glad you discovered your mistake before the dam was built. It cost us money. We'll get it back. Don't worry about money. Just get on with your work and do the best you can. As a matter of fact, from now on, I'll take charge of all the financial details myself. You stay at Nugget Mountain, I'll stay here. That suits me. I never did like figures. I do. I think I'll go over these again. Hey, run along, Jerry. You're doing a fine job. Thanks, Mr. Miller. So long, Al. Yeah. Carl. Wait. This whole scheme's loco. $30,000 and not an ounce of dust. <laughs> I can trust you, Al, because I know you so well. I'm going to explain a few things. It's about time. According to the partnership agreement I signed with Jerry, I won a half interest in Nugget Mountain. Yeah. But while I was in the East, I decided it might not be a paying investment. <laughs> it hasn't got a chance. <laughs> so I sold my interest. You did? And what are you hanging around here for? I sold it six times. You mean six people got together and bought you out? No, uh, I sold my half interest to six different people. Each of them thinks he owns a half interest in Nugget Mountain. How much did you get? Not a cent. You sold and you didn't get any money? No, uh... But each of them agreed to pay half the expenses and losses of a man. Of course, they're supposed to get half the profits, but uh, there'll never be any profits. I can follow you now, boss. <laughs> Let's see how we stand so far. Thirty thousand dollars. Half of that is fifteen. Six people pay me fifteen thousand dollars apiece. <laughs> Ninety thousand for the thirty I invested. Uh, it's slick. It's the same thing I worked on, Great Western. Uh, who are the six? Here's the list: Colonel Ferris in St. Louis, Roger Mason, New York. <laughs> I was careful picking them too. They all believe in the future of the West, and they all have plenty of money. I can get ten thousand a month from them for at least a year. Ten thousand. Then, Nugget Martin will stop operating. <laughs> Very simple, Al. As long as you keep on losing money. How can we help it? The whole idea is absurd. Yeah, but just the same. If it started making money, where would you be? In jail, I suppose. Say. What's the matter? I just saw an Indian at that window. You sure? That's him out in the paint. I don't like Indians snooping around. Get him up, Scout! Put that gun in your holster. This isn't Tombstone. You won't come snooping around again. Mr. Miller! What's the matter, Jerry? Nothing. Everything's swell. One of the boys just rode down from the mine. They got the mill started this afternoon and threw some of the ore in the sluices. Well, We're rich. What? Sure, $200 for half an hour's work. We run $1,000 a day. Thousand? Maybe two or three. We'll pay off that $30,000 in two weeks. And from then on, it's all profit. Yippee! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. A week after the first gold was washed out on Nugget Mountain, the sluices were cleaned out a second time and precious dust put into bags and weighed. The Lone Ranger and Tonto watched the men at work from the cover of some trees high up on the hill. All men happy. Yes, and Jerry's the happiest of the lot. Plenty gold dust there. He thinks his troubles are over, Tonto, but they're only beginning. You tell him what Miller do? I don't think I will, Kimosabe. He's young and headstrong. He might spoil our plans. Ah. It's time we went to work, though. The first thing we have to do is find out the names of those six men. Oh, Miller, have list. We'll pay him a visit tonight. Uh, Jerry, bring gold into town tonight. We'll follow him to the office. Maybe Miller keep gold, not tell men about it. That won't work for long. Nugget Mountain will be talked about from one end of the west to the other. Even if we didn't take a hand in it, the east would hear about it sooner or later. Ah. Uh. Our job is to make it sooner and protect Jerry's life. Yep. Your scales make it the same as mine, Miller. Ten thousand dollars. We'll apply this on our expenses. Sure thing. And next week we'll pay them off. Good night. Hey, where are you going? To see Betty. And uh, set the date for our wedding. Go on. Ten thousand in one week. You've been a fool, Carl. Shut up. Just too smart for your own good. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you'd kept your interest in the mine and you were getting half of everything that came in? Who could have guessed whatever amount to anything? Yeah, that kid, for instance. Yeah, I've got to think. You can't wriggle out of this. Not and stay inside the law. That doesn't bother me now. Up with your hand. The masked man. That engine we saw. I'm glad you're being sensible. We, uh, we aren't making any trouble. That's, uh, that's gold dust on the desk. You're welcome to it. Do we want it? No. No, turn around and walk out in the other room. Didn't, uh, didn't you hear me? I said... And fast. You move. Oh, sure thing. Lock it, Tonto. Uh, maybe him have list on him. Even if there isn't any list, there must be letters. Uh, we'd have to keep in touch with them. Uh, here. Uh, what you find? Just names. No addresses. But I know where some of these men can be found. Colonel Ferris lives in St. Louis. We'll get the others later. Uh, we go now? Yes, Tonto. And uh, we'll take that gold with us. Well, why you do that? So Miller won't know why we came here. Now, come on. Hey, open up. You must be gone. Come on, let's break it in. Yeah, he's gone and he took the dust. Yeah, good riddance. Oh, dude! Boy! I'll have to notify the sheriff. Give him time to get away. This was a lucky break. But we can't expect an outlaw to hold us up every week. I know one around here that might oblige you. You, uh, mean that? Yeah. We could, uh, try. Another whole upset of the question. Do, uh, do you know an outlaw? Sure. Lefty Dawson. He and his boys are making their headquarters just outside of Bannock. Good. We can use them. Oh. Somehow the work at the mine must be stopped. Just make me the head man and I'll stop it for you. We won't try that until later. Why not? Because it's part of Lee's contract that he have charge of the mine. To let you step in, we'd have to get rid of him. <laughs> Lefty could arrange it. That's it. Let him, uh, let him arrange accidents and delays. Let him do everything he can to slow up the work. An uh, explosion, maybe. Yes. <laughs> An explosion is good. <laughs> Get going. We saw you and Tonto ride up, Masked Man. Is the sheriff here? Pa! I'm coming. Did you see it was the Masked Man? Good evening, Sheriff. Well, I've just held up the Nugget Mountain office. You what? I had to get some information from Miller's desk, and I didn't want him to know what we were after. You're still working on your scheme? Yes, Sheriff, yes. Take the gold, Jerry. But I don't savvy. You don't have to. Keep it here until everything's all over. And when Miller describes Tonto and me, don't let him know you recognize us. You can trust me. I won't give him a tumble. Tonto and I won't be here for a week. 
Take care of Jerry while we're gone. Take care of me? Adios. Adios. Well, three months ago, he talked about a crook. I wonder. Another month, and you won't have to wonder anymore. Get out, Scout. Oh, Silver. <laughs> Hello, Terry. Well, Al, what brings you up here this time of night? Say, can you put me up? Oh, sure thing. <laughs> Figured I might stay around if you did. What the? Hey, grab that lantern and come on. What was it? A blast. It sounded like it came from the mine. A blast? Yeah. I can't understand it, though. The men all quit work hours ago. They're running out of the bunkhouse. There's the entrance just ahead there. Something's wrong there. I'll say there is. That blast started a landslide. It's blocked. Oh, tough luck. You'll have to dig it out again. We'll huh? have to. Al. Al, look at this. Sure took a hunk out of the hill. Look, a vein of pure gold. Gold. We might never have hit that vein. I don't know who set that blast off, but I'd sure like to shake his hand. Come on, come running, boys. Take a look at Nugget Mountain. There's the week's take, Miller. 20,000. Better lock it up. And you don't have to worry about outlaws getting it. My deputies are posted all around. Whitey's going to stand guard all night, and tomorrow morning he'll go with you when you take it to the bank. Thanks, Sheriff. Thanks for your trouble. No trouble at all, Miller. After all, half of that belongs to my future son-in-law. That's right, Pa. Ten thousand belongs to Jerry, and the other ten belongs to you. But you got to pay out 60000 with your 10, Miller. It can't go on. Well, it has been going on. Week after week. The word's going out from Virginia City. It won't be long before your backers start showing up. We've got to stop him. There's only one way to do that. I told you before. Once I'm running the mine, you won't have any more trouble. But until All then... All right. Go ahead. You mean it? Yes. Get him. Get him out of the way. Kino. I'll pass the word along to Lefty tonight. There he goes, Tonto. You better follow him and find out what they're up to now. Oh, Tonto, do it. I'll ride back to the camp. You can report to me there. Oh. Get him up, Scout. Sorry. Here, Silver. Al, fella, him go to outlaw camp. Lefty Dawson's camp? Ah, uh, tell him kill Jerry tonight. Did they make any plans? Well, lefty take men up to mine hour before dawn. Cabin where Jerry lived, plenty small. Then put plenty bullet through window. They'd be sure to hit him. Not right. And kill him. Then ride way fast for men catch him. Another few days and Colonel Ferris would have been here, Kimosabe. I hoped we could have put Miller in jail without any gunplay. But that's impossible now. Uh, yep. We'll ride to the sheriff's first, then we'll pay a call on Miller and Al. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Come. What the? Where's man? The same one that held up the office. Don't go for your gun, Al. You're covered. What do you want here? The uh, ghouls in the safe of the office. Hunter, get gun. You're taking a little ride. Both of you. A ride. Where? To Nugget Mountain. Well, if you've double-crossed no, me... No, no, I swear I haven't. It's all set like I told you. Why do you want us up there, mass man? There isn't time to answer questions. There's only a few hours before dawn. Get moving. <laughs> Climb down. This is Jerry's cabin. Hurry up. You weren't going to make us go inside, are you? That's the idea. Get the horses out of the way, Tonto. Ah, time to do it. Come on, Scout. Knock on the door, Miller. You're an outlaw. Jerry will have a gun. If you want to get the drop on him, you can open the door yourself. He never locks it. He has been lately. Knock. All right. What's all the commotion out there? 
I can see him. He's lighting a lamp. You won't need that for long. It's nearly dawn. Mask man. And Miller and Al. Inside, you two. He took his prisoner, Jerry, but the three of us could... Could what? Nothing. Put out the lamp, Jerry. And open the window and sit over there in that far corner. Sure. But what's this all about? He's an outlaw. He's the one that stole the gold. Oh, you're loco. He's the Lone Ranger. The... Lone Ranger? In that far corner, Jerry. Sure. Miller, you and Al can sit on Jerry's bunk. No. Why not? Hey, no reason, but Then I... don't argue. Lone Ranger, he knows about Quiet. it. He, uh, will do what you say, my man. How long are you going to keep us here? Until sunrise. Oh, 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 oh. No, you can't. Why not? I was left to Dawson. This gang just rode up. I riddled the cabin with bullets in another minute. Let us get down the floor anyway. Stay where you are. It's mud right there. How do you know there's Lefty Dawson outside? I, I, I can see him. You can't see a thing. I want the truth. If you don't tell him, I will. Go ahead. Please. We... We hired him to kill Jerry. Why, the dirty low-down coyote. How you get a little Yes, light? Miller. You can get out on the floor if you want to. Sheriff! Waiting right outside the door, masked man. Then I think you heard all that's necessary. Now you're prisoners. And yeah, that uh, just about winds it up, don't it? I think so. Adios. It was a sheriff. It wasn't Lefty at all. And what happened to him? The masked man led me and a posse to Lefty's camp. We rounded him up before we went after you. It was only a trick to make us confess. You did a fine job, boys. You were both under arrest for attempted murder. And, and Miller. Good. All those men who invested in Nugget Mountain will be paying you a call before long. Hey, you, uh, you know about that? And I guess all you can do is divvy up your share among the six of them. Sometimes you just don't pay to be so all-fired smart. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.